Ready to start? Okay, hi, my name is Cameron Freer. I'm a math postdoc at MIT, and I'm going to talk about a project called VDash. Uh, so uh, imagine for a minute uh, what Wikipedia could be like if we actually had something in the back end that could instantly verify every submission and say, sorry, we only allow true statements in this wiki. Well, we actually do have something like that in mathematics. Uh, of course, there are other challenges. Uh, but So how many people have ever tried to work through a mathematical argument and found there were some missing steps they couldn't fill in? Maybe not even, in, yeah, so I mean it's a common occurrence, but in principle mathematics is the one area where you could fill things in all the way down to the bottom in a way that a computer could actually check. Uh, in practice that's actually quite difficult, but it's time for that to change. So Vida, uh, so VDash is uh, a wiki of formalized math. Uh, it's also one approach towards what you might call a math commons, uh, a site with all mathematics in one place and a common language and in a way that anybody can edit. And so roughly speaking, it's an interactive theorem prover along with uh, a library of computer checked math and uh, a web interface, a wiki. Uh, just a word about the name, VDash is the name for the latex symbol that denotes logical provability. Uh, so here's a quick screenshot. This is a pretty basic result. You just have a theorem with a self-contained proof. And uh, in principle, you could also have a lot more explanatory material, links to other results, links outside the site. Um, but uh, you know, this is sort of a, at its most basic. So if we zoom in a bit, you see that it actually doesn't have to look a whole lot worse than well-written code. I mean, you lose something from informal math, but on the other hand, some of the structure is a bit more transparent, and uh, also all the details are there. And in any case, it's not as horrendous as you might expect. So this is the original idea. You know, if, if one of the motivating ideas still is, what if we actually could just check things on the back end and allow true results, or at least you know give a check mark by the things that were absolutely correct? Next, please. So why do we care about formalized math per se? Well, so certainty is actually really a big issue. In the last few years in math, uh, especially, there have been a number of crises, enormous results that take too much effort to check, or people really aren't sure about them. And formalized math actually helps a lot with that. Uh, also, it has a lot of explanatory power. All the r details are there. Uh, results can be reused more easily. Also, you get instant verification. Peer review is still great for assessing quality, but it doesn't have to be as essential anymore for assessing accuracy. Um, and also, you can more fluidly interact with results. Uh, so you can't see this very well with the light, but this is uh, Data, the Lucasian professor of math. Uh, in the distant future, you could imagine this being a knowledge base for robot mathematicians. And uh, George Dyson, for that matter, when he visited Google a few years ago, uh, found that they were quite willing to admit that this was one of their ideas when scanning all the books. And in the meantime, there's all sorts of interesting middle ground for human-computer interaction with mathematics. But at present, it's actually quite difficult to work with theorem provers. Uh, so why is this? So the tools are actually getting fairly mature. Uh, the main problem that I see is that there's just not enough math yet. There's some carefully curated libraries at the bottom, which are actually quite nice. And in response to these crises I mentioned, there are occasional vertical projects with a whole lot of results. But if you have something over here that's not implicated by one of them, you'll find there's just too many intermediate steps that are missing to make it worth your while. So a wiki, of course, helps in that there are more contributors. Uh, but also, you can have top-down development. Maybe you're not able to actually fill in some nice, perfectly done thing at the bottom. But you could give a proof outline. Other people can add details refine it, and so forth. Uh, so there's a lot more possibilities for working with this. Uh, just a word about the implementation. Uh, this is done using a piece of software called Isabel, uh, which combines uh, a small trusted logical core with a fairly readable mathematical language, and increasing amounts of math are being formalized in this and other systems. I think this one's appropriate for a bunch of technical reasons. Uh, you can also think about how this would interact with um, with existing informal math on the web in various ways. You could have a bot that scrapes uh, various preprint archives for results, create stubs, targets to formalize, also connect up with existing informal math in various ways. Uh, there's interesting educational angles. You could picture an open math textbook where uh, results can be unfolded all the way down. Uh, also, uh, once you have all the math in one place, you can start visualizing the interconnections between them in an interesting way. Uh, there's already uh, a lot of uh, industrial applications of automated theorem proving, but this lowers the barrier to entry in some ways. Okay, so if you're interested, how can you help? 
Well, the main thing, so currently the site is still being prototyped, but not too long. Please contribute math to the wiki. If you see some result that you find interesting, maybe in a class, maybe something that you're reading on the side for your work, whatever, uh, maybe uh, have a stab at formalizing it. You may find that it's more fun and even addictive than uh, you might imagine. Um, now, in terms of the actual development, there are all sorts of interesting challenges with the back end, with the web interface, the connections to other sites that I described, and also things along the lines of organizing challenge projects to motivate the community and build up content. So if you're interested, please get in touch. Thanks.